We've wanted to see Deontay Wilder against Anthony Joshua for many years. It's been spoken about for many years. Beat Fury in July. Is that a fight you want next? Almost definitely, hands down. Without no excuses, no mandatories, nothing in the way. As I see, they're already making up excuses. They already got a mandatory plan in head. No one really wants to fight someone like me, and I don't blame them. What's good, family? So, mash the like button and subscribe. So, we just heard there uh, from Deontay, Shionte, Twerk Onse, Wilder. Now, just in case some of you man didn't understand it, let me translate it for you. He said, Oh, man, well, uh, you know what? Uh, my name Deontay Wilder, and uh, you know. Anthony Johnson, uh, he ducking, he gonna duck me, and uh, you know, he planning to fight a mandatory, and uh, I'm the most fear in the division. So there you go. I translate it for, you, for my dons out there. I know that some of us, man, struggle to understand the different language and whatnot, so I like to translate so it's nice and clear for, obviously, my UK don is outcha. So, we just heard Dare from Wilder, and... This cat, again, I'm, I'm worried for him. I keep forgetting to drop you, man, the exclusive leak. Because what we do know is, I brought you, man, my exclusive medical Don here, who exposed Billy Ho Saunders. That same Don, who's got the boxing links, he knows all the boxing doctor commission. He knows all the, all the doctors in different commissions. And I've told you, man, Wilder, from what I'm hearing, ain't going to get a license. Just listen to the guy. And every, the problem is, yeah, the, how do commissions work, how these medical commissions work now, they use what they call a universal coding guide, where they don't just take the physical tests, they use all information, it's a bit like the police force these days, the police force don't just use traditional methods, they also use social media and whatnot, same in the medical community. So when they're hearing Wilder put social media videos out and he's saying mad things like this, like, oh man, don't no one want to fight me. Anthony Johnson, he don't want to fight me. They're hearing this. The, medic the medical commission is hearing these kind of things. Yeah, they're putting two and two together. They're thinking, wait there, Wilder's brain scans aren't looking the best. And then on top of that, we've got the qualitative information the videos of Deontay Wilder actually sitting in an interview and believing that AJ the man who runs through people will be scared of a daddy long legs looking ass big spindly legs looking ass who got moshed by a Don with boobies on his back Tyson Fury with no power do you understand you have to remember that doctors aren't, they're not slow people. They're relatively smart people. So wait there a minute. A doctor who's relatively smart sees Wilder, sees his brain scans, aren't, <laughs> listen, Wilder's brain scans are real bad. Real bad. And on top of that, they're being compounded by his actions. He's saying some real wild things right now. Oh man, don't no one want to fight me. Don't no one want to fight you. I mean, what planet is this gone? Don't no one want to fight you. A Don with boobies on his back as Mosh filled you in good and proper. Fury turned you out and sent you to Twerkland. Fury put you to work in some cheap motel. With all, with all, <laughs> trust me. We know that Fury is fruity. Yeah, and I've heard that in some downtrodden motel in Alabama. Fury has been putting Wilder to work in there with all of his fruity friends. All of Fury's Fury's brought all of his fruity friends over to some cheap motel, and trust me, Wilder has been put to work. He's been turned out and put to work. That's the truth of it. I know there's I know there's some Wilder fans out there who are mad hearing this, but it's the truth. Wilder has been turned out, all the way turned out. You saw him twerking. Where do you think he learnt that from? He learnt that because Fury taught him. He said, "Listen, my clients like to see you drop it down real low." So you best learn. Yeah? These are the tricks of the trade. Do you understand that? It's no coincidence. That's what men want these days. Men, male customers want to see their, um, they want to see their, their client, they want to see their, 
their their woman essentially drop it down. So when Fury gets some of his friends and or has some clients and they want to hire Wilder, you best believe Fury trained Wilder and said, Wilder, my clients want to see you drop it down. So you best learn how to throw it back. And that's why Wilder can twerk. It's not a mystery. Do you think it's a coincidence? For 10 years, no one sees Wilder twerking. Fury whoops Wilder up and turns him out. And all of a sudden, he's dropping it down. He, he, he dropping it like it's hot. He's throwing it all the way back. You, you know what I'm saying? You man, the problem with you, man, is yeah, you get way too caught up in things that aren't in front of you. Just watch what's in front of you. Put two and two together. And the problem is, a lot of you, a lot of you new age cats here, a lot of you 2021 cats, you haven't watched Shawshank Redemption. You don't know about the sisters. Yeah? Fury has turned wild out. Fury is the sisters. No doubt. 100%. In that ring, it was essentially... In the ring, yeah, on in February 2020, that was Shawshank Redemption 2. No doubt. That was an extension of the sister scene. No doubt. Turn them all the way out. Yeah, and put them to work. That's the only difference here. Difference is, the man in Shawshank got his get back. Wilder ain't got, ain't got no get back. And no doubt. Wilder has been in some cheap, dusty motel and been put to work by Wild, by Fury. No doubt. 100%. People say, why be? Where, how do you know this? Where's your sources? I just told you. No doubt. 100%. How about that? That's the source. Yeah? So, listen. Listen. Right now. Wilder. He's mentally unstable. No doubt. And I feel bad for him because, like I told you, from what I'm hearing, he ain't gonna get no medical license. Not talking like this. So I hope, yeah. You, I'm, I'm Part of me thinking now that this kind of thing is a strategy from Wilder. I think he doesn't really want to fight. I think that's why he's saying these mad things, because he knows how it is. He's been doing these tests. He knows how to fail a brain scan. He knows that if he he knows yet yeah, if he starts talking real delirious and saying the most deluded things, like how AJ is scared of him and whatnot, they're gonna pick up on this and think, wait there a minute, Tyson Fury has just ran through you, and you're sitting on an interview talking about how. AJ wouldn't want to fight someone like me. Like, they can they can put two and two together and think, wait a minute, this man isn't well. This man isn't thinking straight. This man's well and truly had his clout busted for him. Yeah. So like I said, the more the more I hear from Wilder, the more I think it's kind of a plan. I think he's planning this out. I think you know what? I don't really want to fight Fury again. So what I'll do is I'll jump on the interview, say some real mad things. And hopefully the doctor won't sign me off. That's the only conclusion I can take. Because there ain't no way, yeah. There ain't no way Wilder believes what he's saying. It's either, listen. Either way you look at it. It's not good for Wilder. Even number one, he's, he's putting it on. To try and fail his medical test. Or number two, his barnet really has been busted. Real bad. And he believes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fury's whooped the delusion back into his head. Yeah? Fury's made, Fury's whooped Wilder so hard, he's genuinely deluded now, believing that, oh man, you, Anthony Johnson, he don't want to fight me, he don't want to fight you, listen, I didn't believe it when you was unbeaten, before Fury pushed your wig back for you, I didn't believe it, but now, what planet is this dude on, before Fury turned you out, yeah, I mean, everyone can give... You can say what you want, can't you? Oh, I mean, I'm in the most feared in the division. You can say all that stuff you want. But now... Wow, to slapped the fire out of you. He literally did. I swear to God. Fury slapped the fire out of Wilder. Slapped it right out for him. Slapped the fire out of him. I can't even... I can't stress that enough. And you want to talk about AJ? That's this what this again is what frustrates me about 2021. The kids these days don't understand levels. Do you understand that? You have nine-year-old kids now, who they don't understand levels. They've all they've all got a lot to say, aren't they? They're all mouthy kids these days. They don't have no discipline. They don't have no discipline. It's the same, and it's like it's like Wilder. It's that same kind of thing, ain't it? They don't understand the levels to this game. Fury. 
your your level is about three, four levels below AJ's. That's your playgroup. You're not AJ's playgroup. It's as simple as that. You're just not. You are in there going 50-50 and getting whooped by a dude with boobs on his back. Yeah? That's you. You ain't in the league of elite athletes who can bang. You ain't in that league. You're in the league of got slapped by a dude with bingo wings and can't punch and has no chin. That's your league. Yeah? You're in the league of skinny, tall for nothing, and can't fart on the inside. That's your league. Your league isn't the, the real league. Your league isn't the, you know what, I can get stuck in and go go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. That's not your league. And that is what that, that is the league that AJ's in. Because whatever you, whatever you man say about Ruiz, yeah, guess what? When AJ went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ruiz, Ruiz ended up flat on his back. Yeah? He ended up with a Ghostbuster. His, he was shocked. Ruiz didn't, didn't know what hit him. And really, when you look at the fight now, when you look at Chris Ariola, when you look at how Chris Ariola slapped the fire out of Ruiz, why do you think that is? I told you, man, long ago, that people aren't the same after they fought AJ. AJ takes something from fighters. Now, I wish he understood that more, but for today's video, all that's important is, you best believe, AJ takes something from fighters. People who go in the ring with AJ don't leave the same. Again, look at Ruiz. Ruiz had the cast iron chin. All of a sudden, he's in there with some old spent guy, and he can't do anything. Ruiz, and let's not forget as well, Ruiz had had the best training camp in his life. Lost loads of weight, best trainer ever. Eddie Reynoso, Canelo Alvarez's trainer. But again, you can have the best trainer you want. You can lose all the weight you want. But when AJ slapped the fire right out of you, that's gone. The fire's gone then. AJ's put the fire out. Like I said, AJ slapped the fire out of Ruiz. That's what AJ, that's what AJ does. He changes people's genetic code. Look at Dominic Brazil. AJ turned Dominic Brazil into an alien. Yeah? Turned him into a Mars looking ass. No doubt. That's what AJ does. You ain't in that category. Because when you got in there with Fury, Ruiz and Fury are similar level, truth be known. Ruiz and Fury are similar level. Don't ever forget that. They're similar level. In terms of their skills. Of course they have different skills. But they're both that same kind of B-level. But that's what they are. They are B-level cats. Fury is... I'm sorry. Wilder is C-level. Fury and Ruiz are B-level. AJ is A-star level. Currently A-level. That's the pecking order here. Wilder. You are C-level. That's why you're in the, in the mix with Ortiz. That's why Ortiz can be whooping you for 8 rounds. And then you paid him off. Do you understand? That's why um, Arta Spilka can be whooping you for 10 rounds until you paid him off. You'll never see a fight where AJ's getting whooped by Arta Spilka for 10 rounds. You'll never see a fight where AJ's getting whooped by Lewis Old Tees for, for 8 rounds. Do you understand? That's the levels. So this man Wilder is either truly sick or he's putting it on. Purposefully trying to fail his medical exam. Because these words aren't the, aren't the words of a sane man right now. He sounds sick to me. The things he's talking. Yeah. Oh, man, Anthony Johnson. He don't want. He gonna. He making excuses already. And that to me, you know. That word that him talking about how AJ's making excuses already. That implies to me that he really ain't well. Because what's he talking about mandatory? AJ's fighting his mandatory now. Wilder seems confused. He seems like he's got some early onset dementia. No joke. I'm being deadly serious. Wilder is exhibiting early onset dementia symptoms. He don't. He, he don't seem. He's about. Wilder seems to be about six months out from reality because we all know everyone who doesn't have early onset dementia knows that AJ is fighting his mandatory now. Oh man, Anthony Johnson, he put in his, he gonna, he got excuse already, he gonna fight his men. Yeah, he gonna fight his mandatory now, ready for you in six months. The way that Wilder is perceiving it, the way that Wilder's early onset dementia brain is perceiving it, is as if the mandatory they're setting up is for six months time. See what I'm trying to say now? 
That that there is a perfect example of how what I mean by when I say Wilder is exhibiting um Wilder is exhibiting some seriously distressful signs of post traumatic brain syndrome. Yeah? Some next CTE thing is what Deontay Wilder is exhibiting. And you best believe. When Wilder moves on to the next life, his brain will be all mushy. His brain will be fully CTE'd, the way he be talking right now. And if you, all of you Wilder fans out there, yeah, if you care about your cat, you sh do not let him do this fight because he ain't he's something he ain't feeling right. Just listen to what he's saying. He's talking like he's real greasy. Did you not? Did we not all see the fight? How can he be talking like this? There's no way. There's no way a well man can be talking how he's talking. Not after, not after how we've watched, how, what we've watched. We've watched Wilder twerking. I've seen Wilder in the motel, servicing all of Fury's clients. I've seen Fury putting Wilder to, to work in the early hours of the morning at some dusty motel. I've seen it all. I've seen Wilder throwing it back to some next lorry driving Don, who's checked into the motel, some next sweaty dusty Don. I've seen it all. Yeah. I've seen it. With my own eyes, I've seen Fury put Wilder to work in a dusty motel with my own eyes. No doubt. We've all heard Wilder get confused with the dates of when AJ's mandatory is supposed to be. Wilder thinks that AJ's setting a mandatory up for six months' time. He thinks it's a joke. Just listen to the guy. Oh, man, yeah. And the worst thing is, he actually thinks he's smart. He actually thinks that he's onto something here. Oh, man, <laughs> Anthony Johnson, he's going to fight. He's already trying to duck me. He's trying to fight a mandatory. He's setting up a mandatory. What? You're fighting Wild. You're fighting Fury in July. And AJ's fighting Usyk. His mandatory. And then undisputed. What, the, what, planet, what planet is this man on? If anything... I think that this was a Freudian slip from Wilder. I reckon, guess what? If Wilder beats Fury, guess what guess what will pop up? This right here was a Freudian slip. If Wilder beats Fury, you best believe Wilder will have a mandatory. You just you just know that's coming, don't you? And guess what? It won't be Dillian White either. Just, you man can you man can forget about that. I'm telling you now. If Wilder beats Fury, it's gonna be Wilder versus some complete stiff, possibly even Ortiz. From what I'm hearing, it will be Wilder versus Ortiz, or maybe even Ruiz, depending how he gets on. But then again, probably not because Wilder ain't gonna want to fight Ruiz. So no, it'll be Ortiz. I'm, I'm thinking. And that explains why the LDBC keep mentioning Ortiz out of nowhere. Ortiz has done nothing to be mentioned. But they keep dragging him up. Doesn't make no sense. Unless they've been told by PBC, Al Heyman, to start to get, to get start wheeling Dinosaur Ortiz out there again. Ready for the big swindle. Not big swindle. Because it, won't, it won't be a big swindle because it's only old Ortiz. Probably do 150k buys on pay-per-view. Put that, probably 200k buys it'll do. Yeah? They probably bait and switch the AJ fight for six months again. That'll build some interest and then they'll fight old T's. Dinosaur T's will fight. No doubt. So anyway, let's wrap this up. End of the day, like I told you. Wilder. He has got some serious neurological symptoms here. He don't seem, he don't seem well to me. Not even a little bit well. He going through it right now. He all the way delusional. Whatever Fury did to him that night, he ain't been the same since. He's all confused. Yeah? I told you the other day, but I've been hearing that Wilder's been... Wilder's been picked up a few times on the roadside in the in the early hours of the morning, just wandering in his slippers. Because he's, he's going through it, end of the day. So again, all of you Wilder fans, if you really care about him... You need to step in. He needs an intervention. He needs a medical intervention. And I'm just hoping, yeah, that these doctors do their job. And don't grant him his license. Because he ain't well. Yeah? Fury's, Fury has slapped the fire out of Wilder. Literally. That fire that we think... You know, a soul, yeah, is something that's inherent to everyone's, everyone's body. And in biblical texts, there's often references to the soul being like a fire. Fury has slapped the fire out of Wilder. 
he's almost like a shell now. And people who have, anyone who has relatives who have suffered with dementia, they talk about how their loved one has become a shell of themselves. Wilder is becoming a shell of himself. No doubt, he going through it right now. And the last thing he needs is Mr. Boobies to come marching forward and slap some more fire out. The last little bit of fire left. Yeah? The last little bit of life there is between behind Wilder's eyes. You don't want, unless you if you man if you man want that to go, that last bit of life that's there but behind Wilder's eyes. If you want that to go, keep encouraging him. Because listen, the things he's been saying. Oh man, they put it they put an egg weight in his glove. It don't even make sense. But because you cats, because you LDBC cats here yeah, are too low IQ, you don't even know what doesn't make sense. How can a man like have you man ever have you man ever even worn gloves before? And this is how I know Wado isn't well because he's been in gloves for the last ten years. He how does he not know that you can't fit an egg weight in a boxing glove? Try it yourselves. Go on. And this is how I know all of you goofies here yeah, have never boxed a lick in your life. Get an egg weight and try and put it in your boxing glove. See how it works out for you. And better yet, if you do manage to squeeze it in, then try and punch something. Without breaking your hand. Oh, and by the way, then try and do it without, without it looking obvious. But you put an egg weight in there. If you put an egg weight in your glove, you'd see it popping out. And you'd break your hand as well. What's wrong with these guys? But you man here, he, Wilder says these things. And not one of you man sits there and thinks, wait there a minute. This man isn't well. Like that, that, that makes no sense. Especially from a, box, from a boxer's point of view. Someone who's in gloves every day. Who, who knows what you can and can't do with a boxing glove. You man hear this and think it's like, oh yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Wilder's well, sick. He's unwell. And you're encouraging him to jump back in there. With the man that whooped him so hard that he started believing that there was egg weights hitting him. The next, I swear down, the, ne the next thing we'll start hearing is how, do you, how it was the UFOs. Oh, man, you know, Tyson Fury, he had, he had a UFO upside my head. That's what's coming next, 100%. You best believe.